First you want to open the app. When you open the app, click the canvas size you would like and open up the color palette. Pick any desired color or keep the same color that you have at that very moment. First, draw a circle or oval in the center of your page. Then draw a line down the middle of it. This is helpful and very important for when you're beginning or even a professional. Next part is the cheekbones. You can do them either pointy, circular or even both. I prefer to do them circular though because I find it easier for when adding the ears, hair, etc. This part can be messy because this is only the template or draft. When you add the ears, they're either circular with a line at the bottom, ovals or semicircles. I chose semicircles with a line underneath, it's up to you what you would like to do. Next part is the eyes. Now these are the very difficult part that needs to have a lot of practice. The eye start of drawing eyes is by drawing two horizontal lines. This will show you where you can draw the um, shape of the eyes without them being too big, too small, etc. Lately my style has changed to having long eyelashes that go off the side of the face. I normally fill those in completely when I have more time on my hands. If you're starting to have trouble doing the exact same thing for the other eye, feel free to duplicate and paste down onto the opposite side. Now's the nose. Multiple different ways that I do noses. Either I do them anime style, cartoon style, or just random dash style. For this though, I'm going to be using a oval style. This part's more freestyle. Depending how you want the hair, it's up to you, but this is how I normally draw my hair. Feel free to use another layer for the hair. It's up to you if you want to or not, but it makes it easier when it comes to colouring. To me, I find the mouth the hardest part to actually draw. So the way that I figured out how to draw it easily is just by drawing a random shape, drawing a random arc shape, and then adding the extra features of the mouth that you would normally see. The really challenging part about this is finding the right angle to draw the mouth at. It's up to you how you want to draw the lips, but I prefer not to add the lips onto the drawing itself. 